Since 2008, the Macquarie Group owned Condor Ferries have been running a cross channel ferry service from the south of England to the Channel Islands as well as to France. Macquarie Group, a group that is estimated to be worth £210 billion, had declared a net profit of £465 million earlier this year. It has come to the RMT's attention that Condor Ferries has partaken in the direct exploitation of its workforce, in particular with regards to its Ukrainian seafarers that work on Condor Ferries. Well, the nature of trade unionism is that it's an international thing, and uh, people would often think, well, what has this got to do with us? Well, I think it brings it home when people are working out of, of uh, our ports, like Portsmouth and Southampton, for £2.35 an hour. Uh, why would employers give decent wages to people in this country when they can bring people in on those terrible rates and terrible conditions that they've got? No seafarer, no worker should work for 12 hours per day minimum for seven day period for three months at a time. End of. Doesn't matter if you're a Ukrainian seafarer, if you're a Polish factory worker or you're an English office worker. This is clearly not, a, um, not healthy for the body, it's not healthy for the mind. And working in such an industry as seafaring, um, where there's dangers and the elements, disturbed sleep, um, work going on, um, unjust hours, you know, it, it's, it's not right for anybody to work those hours. You have to consider the health and safety implications on this, not just for the people that are working these excessive hours, and they're obviously going to be suffering from fatigue, but also upon the passengers uh, who are on, the, on those ferries, because what happens in an emergency? When people are fatigued, they've been working 10, 11, 11 and a half hours, and there's some sort of emergency situation comes around. So I think it's you know it's, it's quite important that we, we get the message out there to passengers that people being ex super exploited, I guess, it's not just bad for the workers, it's bad for the passengers as well. Yeah, on our ships, we have a slightly different working practice to some others. Um, on our ships, you are actually, within reason, guaranteed some rest periods and time off. It's built into our contract. Uh, the watch keepers will do a four hour shift and then they will have a, a break. Uh, my, myself, I'm, as a day worker, I'll do my daytime work and then I'll have the evening off. It's not only about the pay, the, the, the pension, they don't receive no pension contributions, they don't receive no annual leave, you know, so it's not just the pay, it's the terms and conditions that they work on. They work on a fixed term contract. So effectively, Condor Ferries, they have them in for a three month period stop their employment and then he start a new set of terms and conditions and Condor Ferries are getting away with not giving them um, pension contributions which they would get if they were working in the Ukraine and they don't get annual leave which they would get if they were working in the Ukraine. Condor Ferries currently partake in the business practice of flag of convenience. With their entire fleet being registered in the Bahamas, they can now avoid UK employment regulations, regulations that could potentially enhance seafarers' rights. Flags of convenience are only really convenient for the ship owners and management. Uh, by taking the vessel and moving its registration to a foreign port, it means that they can employ who they want, treat them how they want, they don't have to obey the health and safety regulations of the UK, uh, food hygiene regulations, anything. They're all completely out the window. So it is convenient for the management only, i.e. they can do what they want, and yet they still charge the same prices as what they were charging in the UK. So where is all this extra money going? It's not operating costs. They already add that into the ticket. It's just sheer profit going in the management's pocket. Well, the flag of convenience has been something that... Uh a global social and industrial cancer for a number of years and something that we've been campaigning against um, as a national union 
and as a group of unions nationally and internationally um, and it's something that we're fighting back against and the difference what we're doing now is the way it's being done in the past we've relied on political power well the politicians in this country at the moment aren't really doing it so we're looking for the people power and we're looking for the, the public to understand what's going on highlight to them the injustices of the practices of flags of convenience this is a campaign that's just in its infancy this is not going to go away we're going to be here for as long as it takes and it might take two years three years who cares we're going to see it through we basically come here to give the local guys some support in the condo battle and uh, that's hoping we can make a difference. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. People of Portsmouth need to wake up to the fact of what's happening here in their city, like, and so, along with the people of the Channel Islands, we need to actually stop this kind of exploitation. What we say to Condor, if you're going to pay Ukrainian rates of pay, why don't you charge Ukrainian fares for those passengers travelling? For those uh, crew members that are being exploited to the hill, they've got no health and safety standards, they're being exploited, they've got no voice, National minimum wage is, being, is, is flawed, it's a social and an industrial cancer and this is not a race to the bottom, it's a free fall to the bottom because in a race you can compete and this is a free fall, we can't compete, we want a level playing field for our seafarers and for every seafarer that serves in these waters. So please, if you're watching this video, get online, join the Facebook group, Stop Condor Ferries Exploitation exploitation of seafarers go on condor ferries twitter site sign the e-petition and let's hear your voice and get down to portsmouth with the rest of the people and if you're in jersey or guernsey let your local councils and local people and get down to local condor officers to tell them that you're not happy about the exploitation that's taken place and the health and safety regime on board these vessels thank you Thank <laughs> you.